you know, I got to thinking about, Ching Tan Wei beat me to this uh, analogy, but I'm going to use it anyway. If the ARPANET created atoms, then the internet created molecules, and Tim Berners-Lee created DNA. And, and after that, it was just life in all its variations. So now I finally figured out, what is it that motivated all of us to want to be part of all this? Internet is like sex. It's, you know, you can't get enough of it. And you want, that's all there is to it. That, that's why there's all this volunteerism. I mean, forget about the billionaires. Everybody likes sex and everybody likes the internet. And we have a long ways to go. So the internet evangelist is going to encourage more internet sex. Um, I, I, well, I can see how, I'm going to get into a lot of trouble here in, in a minute. Anyway, it's a real honor and a special pleasure to be here to join all of you and think of all the literally millions of people who have made the internet happen. This is all about enabling people to contribute. And I think every single person that's recognized here today, especially the, 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 those in this pioneer circle, have gone out of their way to make it possible for everyone to contribute something. And I think it's the openness of the internet architecture that Bob Kahn gets so much credit for having thought through initially that has allowed all of us to contribute and has allowed the internet to continue to evolve. So I look forward to the next 20 years of that evolution because it's going to be really interesting. Thank you.